Welcome to the uh, official after party uh, for the uh, release for um, Forever Stay Like This. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, super excited to see you all. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an honor, it's a pleasure um, because I received so many great reactions uh, for my new uh, music uh, video and uh, the new album, of course, Breathe In, uh, which is my ninth studio album. Um, uh, most of it was done here in this room. I'm uh, currently in my studio in the Netherlands, uh, working on my sets for the next couple of months. Really excited for this. And uh, yeah, I'll be taking some of your questions. We'll be doing a, a live stream for about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to everybody uh, also who tuned into A State of Trance yesterday. Uh, it was awesome uh, to see the Super Strings guys. And of course, uh, I'm loving your reactions regarding uh, Bed of Rain. And of course, my new single with, um, with The Good Boys. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the uh, YouTube chat. I'm online as we speak. Uh, so I would really like to know if you have any burning questions regarding Forever, Stay Like This, the music video, uh, the album, um, that sort of stuff, because that's what this uh, after party is all about. Uh, so I see people tuning in from Cape Town, South Africa, people from Brazil. What's your best track from the new album? Question by uh, Oleg uh, Umiakov. Well, you know, it's like asking if either Fennel or Remy would be my favorite. There is no favorite, of course. Every track is a favorite because it has a personal story to it. Um, and all the tracks are my babies. So I really, um, I really can't pick a favorite. I want to ask you the same. What do you think is, what's your favorite track? What do you, what do you think is the best uh, track from the album? Are you planning to release a techno mix of any track? Well, um, I guess it depends on what you, uh, what you uh, call techno. Uh, there's a lot of definitions about that. Uh, hello from Romania. Hello from Poland. Uh, when are you back in Thailand? Um, coming this year. Uh, hello from Bangalore, India. Hello from Ireland. Uh, how do you compare the new album to the others? Well, it's, for me, it's a logical order. It's a follow-up to my last album. Uh, last album was called Feel Again, of course, and I'm sure you guys read the story about me being into meditation right now, uh, which is still quite funny to uh, to realize that I'm heavily into meditating. Um, yeah, so that's where the title Breathe In comes from. Uh, I think Breathe In stands for, um, yeah, your breath is the only thing you always have with you. So, you know, people ask me if I still get nervous before I go do a set. And yes, I am. <laughs> uh, so sometimes when I, I come on stage, I usually prepare for months and months and I'm really eager to share the new music with you. So I do get a little nervous sometimes. And uh, yeah, I use my breath as, a, as an anchor, uh, which is what a lot of meditation apps and teachers will tell you. Your breath is the only thing you always bring with you. And uh, yeah, it's more than just uh, getting oxygen to breathe. It's, uh, it's an anchor for me. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I can now meditate with my eyes open, you know, uh, super important, I think. Um, what inspired you the most for the album? I guess being, being more into meditation, um, you know, I, I never used drugs in my life. I uh, quit drinking and meditation is my new way to, yeah, deal with stress. And, uh, you know, sometimes people tend to, to drink alcohol to, if they're nervous, uh, I don't do that anymore. I just, uh, yeah, try to meditate, go to my breath and work out, have a, have a good daily routine. It really helps. And, um, yeah, the song bed of rain, um, was created with my good friend, Johan Gustafsson and Mila Joseph, uh, in Sweden. We were, uh, we were both massive fans of Enya and, uh, and that whole era of music. I mean, as you guys probably know, I'm a massive fan of uh, synthesizer music and, um, uh, particularly of, um, you know, the, that era of music where I grew up and Enya was, was always in, in the house. So it's kind of an homage. Uh, let me see. I'll be taking questions in the YouTube uh, chat. Hello from California. Big hello back. Um, questions about collaborations. Will you dream about ASOT episode 2000? <laughs> Well, let's say if we do 52 a year, it's going to take quite a while. But yeah, it would be nice to reach that show. But it's it's not... Um, I'll be 60 then, I think. That's kind of a scary thought. Uh, let me see. 
Will there be more parts of the album? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, I, I like the concept and uh, I'm kind of making music in this realm, you know, a little faster, a um, little bit geared towards the sound that I fell in love with when I first started producing. Um, so, uh, yeah, really excited. Big shout out to Mexico. I'll be seeing you guys for EDC next month. And of course, I hope to see you guys in Rotterdam for a state of trance. It's happening. 23, 24th of February in the new location in Ahoy. Really, really excited. Uh, when are you dropping the club mix? The club mix of forever is coming out next week. Um, so uh, watch out for that one. I don't think there is a, a date planned at this point for the uh, the harder mix of God is in the sound waves, but um, I'll be playing it in my sets, of course. Um, yeah, I'll be taking more questions. Uh, let me see. How different was it for you to produce a track like Make It Count? Ah, it was fun. It was fun to work with um, with Justice. He's a super nice guy, really talented. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with all the response. It's, you know, as, as a favorite in my sets. Uh, will there be CD and vinyl? I guess at one point there will be. Um, I know there's a lot of you out there. We just released the State of Trans Year Mix on 2CD as well. And uh, I'm really proud to say that there's a vinyl edition coming of the State of Trans Year Mix 2023. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, what gear are you using in your sets? Well, it's right behind me. Um, it's the CDJ uh, 3000. Um, I use the, the, the V10 as a mixer. It's my favorite mixer. And I like to use the sampler to add like drum drum loops or vocal samples to my sets. And it, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. Will there be destination merch? I think you mean uh, merchandise uh, aimed at the State of Trance event that we will uh, having at the end of February. Yes, there'll be special destination merch. I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, let me see. Um, Dream a little dream. Yeah, that's a track that I'm uh, I'm still working on, but uh, I'm quite happy with it right now. And yeah, I will be dropping it. Uh, sometime, hopefully this year, if the release schedule permits. Um, I also uh, asked uh, you guys to submit some questions for me on my Instagram. Uh, so I have a few questions here from a few people. Uh, let me take a question from that. Uh, which track of Breathe In was the most fun to produce? I think Forever Stay Like This was a lot of fun. It was actually produced during the Amsterdam dance event, not last one, but in 2022. Uh, we were in the studio with the, the good boys and uh, there was a lot of people there. And uh, what I really liked about it is that, you know, we were aiming at a completely different song. And then all of a sudden, I, the good boys, one of the good boys came up with the idea to, to use Guru Joshi's Infinity. And that's the reason why it took more than a year to actually release the track, because we had to ask for kind permission, of course, to use the um, original uh, horn, uh, we actually replayed it. So it's not a sample, um, but you have to clear and ask for permission. <clears throat> so, and it was fun to work with the good boys. And uh, yeah, Guru George Infinity is one of my favorite tracks. It really remembers me the, the early days when I went uh, clubbing for myself. Um, so let me see some other questions. <clears throat> how come, how did you come up with the name for the album? Well. I already told you that it's uh, because I meditate every day. Um, the concept about the music video is actually really exciting. Uh, the music video, you, uh, I hope you guys have seen it. Uh, obviously, it's about uh, it's about a relationship, um, and uh, I'm kind of controlling the time um, uh, with that thing. Uh, how do you call it? Sand, uh, <laughs> and um, I can. Uh, go back in time, uh, you know, sometimes you wish if you're longer in a relationship, uh, at least for me, you know, when you first fall in love, uh, you're absolutely crazy about each other. And the longer the relationships last, of course, the love stays, but, you know, you, you kind of miss that spark from the first moment. So can we stay in that moment forever? That's kind of the, the concept of the video. It's about yeah, the couple um, that have sometimes have fights and stuff and then they get back together. And in the end, of course, um, it's end good, all good. They end up coming together as well. Uh, but sometimes if there's a if there's a moment in your life um, and you wish you could freeze time, uh, I'm sure you guys know the feeling. At least I had it when I was in uh, Tanzania with my family a couple of weeks ago. 
not gigging, just hanging out there and enjoying the, uh, the wildlife and the parks and so beautiful there. I wish I could stop time. And that's also related to the breathe in title of the album, uh, where forever is part of, um, it really, yeah, it has a connection with that because obviously you wish if you breathe in and you're, you're, if you can be in the moment, I think that's the most important thing. Um, because you know, you can make a picture of it, but then the moment's gone, you know? So I try to, you know, if I really enjoy something, if I'm having a good time, if I'm having a good meal, if I'm enjoying the sun or a party with you guys, or yeah, I try to breathe in and really, you know, realize that I'm in that moment and that specific moment's never going to come back. So, um, are you planning a solo show within the future, a new Armin Only show? Maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah, I, I would love to. Uh, but there hasn't, there, there's not any, um, um, it's not really any any plans at the, at the moment. But yeah, it would be really cool to tour with the, the Breathe In concept. So yeah, there's discussions and, and we're seeing, uh, my diary is already pretty full for 24. So I guess that will be 25. Um, let me see. What's the name of your next album? Number 10. <laughs> I haven't thought of a title yet. Uh, are you missing a who's afraid of 138 special in ASOT? No, I'm not missing it. We actually did, um, one a little while back. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to come back. Um, what track from the album took the longest to produce? Um, let me think. Uh, I want to say the good boys track, but, uh, yeah, there's quite a few tracks that took a long time. Well, you know, I'm always working on like several songs at the same time. Um, not that I'm wor constantly working on the song, but you know, sometimes I, I, I think music is like, I can't really f make a track in four hours that, that rarely happens. I mean, sometimes it does, but not always. Um, mostly it's like you make something and I usually put it on my phone and I check it in my car or I play it out in my sets or I play it to some people in the office and then I go back and, you know, back and forth. So I want to say like at the moment I'm working on something like 50 tracks, but I'm not saying I'm working on them every, every track uh, on uh, 50 tracks on one day, you know, there's one, one day you'll open a track again, you'll go back to it. And, when the feeling's right and when I've t road tested it with you guys and I see the crowd response, then that's usually uh, a moment. Uh, well, if, if I feel the crowd react is reacting to it in a good way, sometimes you, if you're in the studio, you think you made the greatest track in the world and you play it in front of a crowd and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think um, when I uh, when I feel a track is right, then I send it to for a release. So I always road test all my music. So all the tracks on... Um, on breathe in were also tested on the on the dance floor what music software are you using well uh i like i grew up kind of with logic um uh like ages ago uh so i stick to logic uh, and also ableton ableton's great um but you know there's nothing wrong with fl studio or um i have fl studio on this machine actually because i want to be able to open all those projects but i'm not so quick as as a, a couple of the go uh, younger guys but I, I love Logic just for the sound and I'm just very used to working with it. But I guess it's all about the chef, not the kitchen. Could you and Ferry Corson make an album together? Well, who knows? We, uh, we did the anthem for A State of Trance together. That's also part of Breathe In. And uh, if, you want, if you're curious to see how we made that track, there's actually a, a YouTube video, uh, a three hour, of three, sorry, I think it's five or six hours uh during the three days that we actually composed the track at the armada studios it was a lot of fun to do because we did everything online do you have inspiration for every track well usually it's it's um it's just being in the studio you know fooling around uh, nerding away with some of these synths or or um uh you know new plugins or somebody sent me a new sound pack and i get inspired or, or something like that um Will there be a secret room in Rotterdam too? Well, if I tell you, it's not a secret, huh? <laughs> um, let me see. What was the first track of Breathe you produced? I think that must be Motive. Uh, what are you most proud of what you've already achieved? I guess my kids. That's a bit cheesy answer maybe, but 
yeah, I think my, my, my children are my best productions ever. I think every father will tell you the same. Uh, are you excited to come to Mexico for 10 years of EDC? Yes, I'm so excited to come to Mexico again. Very, very happy. Who made the album cover? The album cover was made by uh, Sander uh, and his team. Uh, Joris, big shout out to you guys. Great job. Uh, Sander does, he sort of oversees all the artwork that's been done. Um, what's your opinion on uh, Anima's grand visual direction? I love it. I think what Anima is doing is amazing. I'm a big fan of um, the whole melodic techno movement. Um, let me see. What else? Are you coming to London again this year? Yep. Are there any Rising Star or Gaia tracks incoming? Yes. I can't tell you when. Uh, what's your favorite club in the world to play at? I have to say Ushuaia. I love that venue. Like September last year was just insane. And I'm happy to tell you that, um, yeah, there's going to be big news about Ibiza um, uh, very soon. Um, doing some surprises there. Um, will you bring back Asa to Argentina? I would love to be great. Uh, any collaboration with Oliver Heldens? Um, yeah, we've been in the studio, um, so um, hopefully we can we can finish something and then we'll, we we uh, can share it maybe. But uh, yeah, we're still working at this point, so nothing's finished. Um, any plans to do production courses? Love your masterclass. If I have time, yes. Um, currently, my time is um, you know it takes a lot of time to prepare for the radio show every week. Uh, and I really want to deliver you guys uh, the music that I have. I have so many great tracks standing by. Um, so I want to finish those tracks. And maybe uh, in the future, we can do some production lessons as well. Um, let me see. What about Rebel in Toronto? I'm coming there. I'm excited. Um, hope to see you guys next week. So happy to be back there. I'm also playing Montreal and Boston. Can't wait. Uh, will you collaborate with David Guetta or Martin Garrix? Who knows? Who knows? They're, um, they're good friends. I really admire them. They're great artists. Uh, there's nothing really planned at the moment, but uh, I'm always talking to these guys, so we'll see. Uh, let me see. Will you come to Chile? Yes, for sure, but not this year, maybe? Hopefully next year. Uh, Club Mix for Forever. Uh, somebody's asking about it again. Obviously, it will be uh, released uh, next week. So really happy with that. Um, let me see. What else? Some questions that I got through the Instagram. Uh, I already told you about Bed of Rain. Um, how do you still have the positive energy to make these songs and sets? Well... Um, yeah, there was a little time about four years ago that I really thought, you know, maybe I've told my story, but then when I'm in the studio or sitting behind my piano or there's always new, new tracks to make and, you know, I get so excited about the music itself, you know, the rest is, uh, it's, it's fun. It's nice, but the music, I've always been in it for the music because it just does something to me. Um, let me see. Release of the space song. <laughs> it's coming really soon, guys. Don't worry. Um, how do you feel about playing in Rotterdam this year? I'm really excited to come back to Rotterdam. Actually, uh, the Ahoy was uh, the place where I did the first big arm and only in 2005, uh, which was a really important moment in my career. Um, so, yeah, it feels like coming home. I mean, of course, I'll miss Utrecht, but I'm sure you guys have heard that it's not possible to do ASOT like we used to because the big hall, the big um, arena where we used to have the main stage is now closed down. So we can't do events there anymore. The Jabbers is still there, but uh, you have to use other rooms that aren't as iconic as uh, that one. Actually, I'll tell you a little secret. That room that they've now closed down was um, the very first room I ever visited when I went to my first big rave in 92 93 sorry and i was about 17 years old or 18 years old i think and um, um that was also the room where idnt did their, their final exam so it's kind of a legendary venue it's kind of sad that they shut it down but that's why we have to move to a new location and i'm very glad we found ahoy uh, in rotterdam and they were very excited to 
to host the uh, the indoor trans festival and i'm excited because there's not that many locations in holland that can really host a big event like this uh, there's only a few options you have and i think rotterdam is a good choice uh, a i love the city half of my family comes from rotterdam uh, and b uh, i think the ahoy is a great great location you know it's easy to get to by, by public transport uh, you can park your car there quite easily and i've just uh, really updated some of the rooms like the rtm room is just amazing the theater hall is amazing so yeah, really can't wait to see you guys next month uh, for a state of trance destination. Um, let me see what else. Are you hosting an ASOT stage at Tomorrowland this year? Not this year, unfortunately. No, just too busy with other um, other things. Uh, a lot of people have been bringing up universal religion. I'm still talking to my management about it, but the thing is, I'm just producing so much music that I just don't have time. You know to uh to work on that but yeah it's, it's, i love the the concept the voice in make it count is that the same guy on dmds no actually there's a funny story about the track make it count that's part of uh, the breathe in album it's actually my voice but then i made some sort of an ai representation of my voice there's a couple of websites that are really good at uh making a uh a, like artificial intelligence makes a copy of your voice. So you have to leave like three or four minutes of your own voice and then you can type something in and then uh, it, it can make you say stuff with your voice that you never said. It's kind of scary actually. <laughs> so when I'm no longer here, you can still hear my voice through that software. So I use that. Uh, so the voice of Make It Count is actually my voice, but I never said those words in that exact time. So. I first made a copy of my voice. Uh, I, I used a little lower voice than I would normally use it because I thought that was fun. So with that new voice, we typed in the words, make it count. And that's what came out. And that's what we used in the actual track. So thanks to the, thanks to AI, we were able to do that. Uh, let me see. Any tips for the first time ASOT participant? I think the most important thing is to Make a plan who you want to see. There's five areas with DJs. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. And of course, we have chill out sections and a food section as well. So I, I think you have to plan ahead and see uh, which artists are most important and which artists you want, really want to see. And then, uh, yeah, make sure you don't miss um, your energy is amazing. Thank you. Is there a uh, chance that you release an old school style trans compilation? Well, you just listen to one of my older <laughs> compilations, I would say. I don't want to repeat myself, you know, but I'm very, very happy to see that, you know, trans is, is making this huge comeback right now on the scene. And, you know, they're, they're trying to call it different styles, m melodic techno, whatever, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I don't want to uh, bash. I just think it's beautiful that, uh, you know, there's something about faster, higher BPMs, the energy that melodic of the that melodies bring, I think, in general. So, yeah, I think it's it's wonderful. Um, that's amazing. Um, let me see. Any more burning questions? How long will be your destination? set? I'm playing uh, several sets in Rotterdam. Uh, I'm playing solo, of course, every day on the main stage and I'll be doing a special um, set, um, a, a destination set uh, for half an hour, which will be a lot of fun. I really can't wait for that. Uh, and also I'll be announcing some special back-to-backs really soon. Um, some, some people I've never played back-to-back -back with, so uh, I'm really excited about that. Do you miss playing with vinyl? Uh, actually, I, I do a little. I'm nostalgic. I still have all my vinyl. It's really, really funny. But, you know, playing with USBs is just m much more easy. And, and the sound, um, you know, it, it's more stable. Let, let's put it this way, that when I was playing with vinyl, it was always harder um, because there was room acoustics. And what I loved about playing with vinyl is that if I showed up in a club or in an event and the DJ before me and the DJ after me were also playing vinyl. Now, if I play vinyl, usually they just set up the, the turntables for me. And that means that there's a lot of hiccups uh, because it's not so stable. It's not so easy to play with vinyl as it is with USB. 
Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. And uh, hopefully uh, I still have all my vinyl, like I said, and hopefully I'll be playing a vinyl set for you in the near future. But for me right now, to be able to play the latest stuff from my studio and everything, not having to wait for an acetate to come out or a white label, it's, uh, it's much more easy. Um, so I have a few more minutes left, guys. Um, we're taking five more minutes. So if you have any questions, uh, yeah, drop them in the, in the YouTube chat. Um, are you planning to come to Colombia soon? I was there last year for um, Lollapalooza. It was insane. Uh, okay, who made that remix for Tuvan? Actually, it was uh, just a, an update that, uh, that I did myself. So I'm glad you like it. Uh, would you interest to make a 160, 180 BPM track? Um, I'm not sure, man. I mean, I just say don't be a prisoner of your own style. But for me, usually I end up making music between 128 or 140. It just feels great. Uh, for Space Case, it was fun to make 150 and for Lose This Feeling. But I tend to stick to um, like 138, 140 is my favorite uh, BPM. Um, let me see. What's your favorite ASOT anthem? Well, of course, again, I like them all, but I still play I Live For That Energy a lot. Um, let me see, what questions do we have? I'm reading your questions. Any fun plans for this weekend? Uh, yeah, I'm just taking it easy, actually. Um, I have a busy week next week. I'm flying to US and Canada and doing some shows. So that's really nice. Uh, let me see. Any plans to come to Egypt? Hopefully soon. When will you start in Dubai? My flight will arrive at six. I think I'm playing after midnight, but I'm not sure yet. How you? How do you manage your USB catalog? Um, I use uh, Recordbox, and uh, it's great. Absolutely amazing. Um, What do you think of classic remakes? Armin only Intense or Mirage would be great. The exact same track list and lightning technology. Well, who knows if I'm old? <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm really proud of Mirage and Intense and 76 and all those albums. But, you know, I really want to focus on the new music. And uh, maybe if I'm a little older, we can have a, a Mirage or an Intense uh, reunion tour. I don't know yet. Mm. When will Remy or Fena start playing trance music? Well, I, you know, I keep t telling this, they can be whoever they want to be. I'm not pushing them into music. You know, Remy had piano lessons with me together uh, for a little while, but he wasn't interested. He was more interested in football or soccer, as you call it. Uh, so yeah, that's his main passion and his PlayStation, of course. But uh, yeah, he's a 10 year old. And when I was 10 years old, I wasn't really into music yet. I was, I, I enjoyed music and I was, learning a lot around a little bit but i also was playing with my friends more than i was really focused on what i wanted to do so it's too early to say if they will be into music uh let me see enjoyed and loved your show in mumbai india thank you so much i really appreciate that um so last questions guys um we're closing off this uh premium after party in just a bit um, can everyone come to your ASAT studio? Uh, I record the state of trance every week and we always have guests. So yes, you can come to the studio. Just make sure you email, uh, either Ruben or myself, Armin at a state of trance .com. Uh, it would be fun if you want to be part of service for dreamers, or you just want to bring us a cake. <laughs> we love cake. No, I'm kidding. It just, it's so much fun to see you guys um, at the State of Trends. Every Thursday we broadcast with, um, uh, usually with, with fans around in the studio. And it makes it so much more fun if we actually see what the music does to you guys. Will the vlogs be coming back? You know, I've been getting quite a few questions about that. But it's just, I'm just so busy, you know. Uh, maybe that's not a good excuse, but... Yeah, hopefully. Um, but I, I'll be, I want to do it maybe in a different way. Um, I have uh, a guy with me, a video guy who tours with me, Wissam. He's amazing. He's such a nice guy. And um, yeah, maybe we should do more like vlog style kind of shorter videos. I think that that would be, uh, would be a cool thing. Uh, last questions, guys. 
did yours rent your studio with ADE? Well, he was there. He used my studio. He didn't pay rent. I mean, if he wanted to do a radio show, so it was fun. Uh, I mean, I, I really hope more DJs will use the, the studio because it's there, you know. Um, currently, it's not being used. So here's an open invitation to other DJs if you guys are ever down for using the ASAP studio. How's Pepper? We have a cat. I have two cats. We have Pepper and Dvorl. Try to pronounce that in English. Um, but uh, yeah, Pepper's great. He's just grown, it's just grown a bit chubby. <laughs> he's, he's eating too much. Uh, let me see. Have you ever thought about making a collaboration with Coldplay? That would be something. Why not? I'm a massive Coldplay fan, so that would be great. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining this um, YouTube Premium After Party. Uh, it's so much fun seeing all your questions. Thanks for the love online. And a big shout out to you guys. Don't forget it. My new album, Breathe In, is out now. Uh, it's on your favorite streaming portal. Uh, has uh, 12 brand new tracks and um, I'm super proud of the single forever. Uh, there's also video available. So if you guys want to see that, I'm going to be touring a lot this year. Uh, so I hope to see you in the dance floor somewhere and uh, have an amazing weekend. Take care.